G'day guys, welcome back to the Lotus Grind, and I reckon I got a doozy for you guys today. Um, this one, um, bit of a backstory, this one was a local pickup. So, no postage, no two week wait, no nothing. And it was from Facebook Marketplace, and it was a nice, clean, round $50 bill. $50. And it was 10 minutes away from my house, and so, of course, I jumped in the car, well, there's two photos that I'll pop up now of the ad. It was from the first two pages of this binder. And took a, one look at the first two pages, asking 50 bucks. I said, yep, I'll come pick it up. And I think I might have, must have picked this up like within 10 minutes of it getting posted like online. So, um, what did I see in the images? I saw, I think it was like a play set of Demon of Death's Gates. I saw some... Unhinged, unhinged full art lands, unhinged unglued. I keep forgetting. Um, yeah, well, probably you've seen the photos now, but I could literally just open the first two pages. So look at this, guys. That and that. You'd pay fifty bucks for that, right? And then you got brrrr, all of that. So um, I arrived there, handed over my fifty dollar bill. And jumped in the car, put this on the front seat, got home, and we're going to go through it together. So, worst case scenario, I think I've made my money back on the first two pages. But now we've got a heap of upside. Um, yeah, it looks to be from about ten years ago. So, this will be fun. Alrighty. Let's get into it. So, you got your classic three-ring binder here. Also probably an indicator that it was 10 years ago. Although I think they still sell these for sports cards. Alright. So, page one, already looking pretty good. So, we've got... Nice little ground catacomb from M10. And then we've got two... Demon of Death Gate. Nice. Little Chandra Nalar. M11. Little ding on the top. And we got a Defiler of Souls from Alara Reborn. So you're getting into the Alara block there. Got a bit of protection to it as well. And you got. Hunted Horror OG Ravnica <laughs> Do you guys remember when Child of Alara was like 20 bucks Before it got printed to Oblivion I think it's part of the 2022 Masters now as well Yeah, that's a shame But I think the original printing's still 4 bucks or something And a Necrotic Sliver I can't remember whether that one carries any value So you're getting a whole load of kind of 2007 era cards there through to 2010. And then we've got classic Commander Staple Noxious Revival. I don't believe Dispatch, I could be wrong, that a Dispatch is relevant. But there are some uncommons in here as well. So it might not be a whole binder of rares, but. Hopefully there's enough res scattered through the mix. And then we've got some beautiful full art swamps. Yeah, unhinged, I think. One, two, three. No foil, but still nice. Beautiful. Oh, and here we go. It's already getting teased for all the cards beneath it, but it's looking pretty good. So there, yeah. So this is the rest of that play set of Demon of Death's Gates. Nice. Oh, here we go. All right. What am I looking at? Ooh. Okay. So Cedrus. I don't think that's much, but he was one of the OG. 
Commanders, from the original Commander series, I believe. Nice. Sharon, the Hedgeman, I think that's also. He's also one of the original Commanders, just one. Sphinx Sovereign from Shards. Is another Noxious Revival. I'm not too sure whether they've retraced a bit, but still always a very pickable card. I put that together. Prince of Thralis, I think he's alright. Yeah. Boss card. Conflagrate, I don't believe. Carries any value. Beast within, I think. I think that's a few bucks. A couple of bucks. Nice. What else do we got going on? Okay, cool. Yeah, here we go. Look at this. So another beast within. Ooh. Noxious Revival, another one. Excellent. Look at this. So okay, we've got another dispatch. Oh, this is gonna go crazy. Oh boy. Look at all that. Chancer of the Forge. Foil, new Phyrexia, very nice. Blade Splicer. Chance for the Annex. Can't remember if that's a good one. Mm. <laughs> I love these kind of cards. Can't lose the game. Awesome. Look at this. Wow. <clears throat> a pre-release Shieldred Whispering One foil. Very nice. That's not thick, is it? No, nah, that's just in pristine condition. Awesome. <laughs> we are flying, and wow, look at this next one. Three Crypts of Agadames. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, I'll grab out the Crypts of Agadame. One. Oh, this is from a great era of magic as well. Oh man, it'd be crazy if we caught like some um, some OG shock lands. That'd be awesome. Warren Instigator. I think he used to be like eight bucks or something. And the Kalitas. Nice. Not as much as the yellow um, Kalitas, but still nice. Rexil's all right. Got one of these. Nice. Ooh. Nova Blast Worm. Yeah, not too sure. Pretty nice though. Anything with haste. Damia, Sage of Stone. Ah, oh, there you go. An original commander. Interesting. Those other ones were the original printings, I think. Hunted Phantasm. OG Ravnica. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> okay. We got ourselves a nice little one Tron land there. Another Tron land here. Brushland, nice. And a Battlefield Forge. I think these are like barely a buck these days. Swarm of Rats. I uh, can't recall. Actually, those are rares. Gut Shot, I know, is okay. We got one of them. And we've got. Two of them. 
Nice. What else do we have? An evacuation. Classic. And ooh, a black border foil ninth edition Will of the Wisp. <laughs> well, because it's a foil ninth edition, maybe that's something. What do we got here? Ooh, okay. We've got a life's finale. Glistening oil, classic, in fact. Praetor's Grasp, got one and two. What else do we have here? We've got a dismember, one viral drake. Two viral drakes. Yeah, a lot of new Frex here on commons. Hopefully we get some triumphs for the hordes or Yeah, that'd be great. Post mortem lunge, two of. What else do we have here? Oh, here we go. Very nice. Another life's finale. Just there. Another gut shot. Great. Another dismember. Great. Phyrexian Metamorph has been printed like every commander set for years. They took a break from it more recently. That's cool. Phyrexian Manor. Chancellor of the Forge non foil. X Parasite, classic. And a Norn's Annex, very nice. Excellent little piece to stall out the game a bit. And then we got Mind Crank, such awesome artwork. Oh, awesome. Wouldn't mind a few more Mind Cranks. Ooh, what do we got here? Okay, a bit more, a bit more new for X. We do have, ooh, two mental missteps. Sweet. Oh yeah, this is just such a great era of magic. Melira. Don't know about that. It's like a poison hate card. Another viral Drake. I think Phyrexian Swarm Lord's alright, like five or six bucks or something. It used to be. We've got another Glistening Oil. Got a Praetor's Grasp. And a Post Mortem Lunge. Right. Okay, oh, <laughs> didn't even see these. Look at that. <laughs> that's a whole playset. Oh, that's nuts. Wow. I know it's foil, which is great, but I think pre releases mean that there's a fair bit of quantity, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's worth as much as a normal Shieldred Whispering one. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. 2011. Jeez, it's a long time ago now. Vandal Blast from Return to Ravnica, a little bit later. Nice. Great card. Deathrite Shaman used to be brutal in standard. Very nice. And a Sphere of Safety. Man, this is just all the decent uncommons. Sweet. A Foil Codex Shredder. Might be something. And a chromatic lantern, very nice. This is getting crazy. I don't know what the counter would be at, but it, sh it should be. We will have blown past. Um, probably, yeah, we got some big numbers. <laughs> so we still got 
Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, I was very excited when I saw it was 50 bucks and it was already paid for basically with the first two two sheets that were pictured. Black Sun Zenith, we got three of them. One. Yeah, that's just one, two, three. Very nice. A couple of reliquary towels which have held their value really nicely considering how much they get printed. Very nice. Oh, nice. We got a foil creeping corrosion. Again, these cards are in excellent condition. Even the ones that aren't in the, the sleeves. And that is a regular. We got a Mirrodin Crusader. Excellent. Oh, look at that behind there. We've got a Core Prowler foil. Very nice. What have we got going on here? <laughs> Look at this. Excellent. One Rocks Faith Mender. And three Sarah Avengers. Very nice. One. Two, three. Very nice. And a, ooh, is that a, that is a foil reliquary tower. Very nice. Oh, this is getting insane. Ooh, we got multiple Cathedral of War. I don't think that's anything crazy. Uh, classic. Captain of the Watch. I just used to play so much Magic around 2012, so, nice. Ooh, and we got two JC Boys. Bit of mill action, very nice. What else we got going on? Oh. <laughs> Excellent. We've finished our play set of Crypt of Agadames. Is that our second Warren Instigator? So random that they're not put together. Here we go. Another Kalatas. Very nice. <laughs> Spell Sky. It used to be pretty big deal again before it got printed about six different ways. Two, three, beautiful. Commander staple though. Good low cost commander staple. Two more mine cranks. Excellent. Another gut shot. Beautiful. We are flying. And then look at this. Wow. Okay. So we've got our third. <laughs> Jace Memory Adept. Very nice. Gid two Gideons. Lovely. Again, these are just exceptional condition. Beautiful. And we got Rootbound Crag. Nice. Inferno Titan, don't think that's anything exciting. Sundial of the Infinite. Excellent. Honor of the Pure. Nice little white boost. Furyborn Hellkite. Nice. And a Boots. Lovely. <laughs> this is, and look, there's more boots. Man, this is crazy. This is, this is big. Play set of Indomitable Archangels. One. Two. Three. Oh, very nice. 
nice standard artifact deck base there. And have a look at that. A foil dissipation field. Beautiful. Vince's journal. Man, it'd be crazy if there was, I don't know, like a Blight Steel Colossus in here or. Or, um, another boots. Or, I don't know, like a, um, yeah, some Shockland to be crazy. Swift for boots. Great. Leash of the Tangle. Cool. <laughs> but nonetheless, this is great. Elwish Arch Druid. Man, this person opened up a lot of cards. Or built a lot of decks. Ooh, there was a multiple. So we have three Elvish Arch Druids all up. Oh, this... <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah, okay. I, um... One of, one of the first pre-releases I kind of did was, um... Thrag Tusk Slumbering Dragon was my first... Um, uh, yeah, we were just kind of doing the pre-release draft and built a deck off that and this thing was like 20 bucks back in the day Chandra the Firebrand one two three cool I think there was one before so that makes a playset oh look at this this is an insane collection foil very nice Night of Glory, Foil, Lights of the Valley, Acidic Slime, so that's a, that's a Commander staple, so having that in Foil maybe, one of the earlier printings, and a Sky, Silk Lash Spider in Foil as well, very nice, look at this, this is insane, okay, we have Another play set of Reliquary Towers. So, oops. And then we have another three Mirrodin Crusaders. So that takes us to a play set of Mirrodin Crusaders. Oh, come on, play set of Blight Steel Colossus. So that'd be freaking insane. And we've got another two more of Kalatas, so I think we've also got a play set of Kalatas Bloodkeeper Get. Wow, it just keeps going. Three Bloodlord of Vasgoths. Oh, Bloodthirst, I remember that. Wow. Man, you know what? Like, I'm sure there's some... There's some bulk that's been left behind somewhere along the journey here. I should probably <laughs> make an inquiry on that. Because it was just the binder for sale. Spirit Mantle. Timely Reinforcements. Ooh, a foil smallpox. Might be something. Foil Warstorm Surge. And love the artwork on this. Rites of Flourishing. Beautiful. <laughs> well, there you go. There's the play set of Slumbering Dragons. Jeez. Nah, I think these must have come from um, like building standard decks because there's so many play sets here. Right. Two more Sundial of the Infinite. So I think that what that takes us to like three Sundial of the Infinite. Beautiful. Another Rootbound Crag. Great. Two more Swiftfoot Boots. Don't know what that takes us to now in terms of Swiftfoot Boots. Right. And another Furyborn Hellkite. Beautiful. 
<laughs> wow. Okay. So we've got a playset of Champion of Lamholt. Excellent from Avison Restored. They were good fun back in the day when we had some werewolves going on. And, oh, this is a trip. Nice. Ooh, we got two Bruners, which were reprinted in. Uh, ooh, can't remember which commander. I think actually it's been printed in a couple of commanders. Another Warstorm Surge, not in foil. Cemetery Reaper, that's a good card. I think. Zombie Boost. Herald of War. Good for your exalted decks. And a foil. Descendant's Path. Not in a sleeve, but just in excellent nick. Yeah. <laughs> this is really well cared for. Well, what do we got here? Hmm. We got an Elbrus up here. Predator Ooze. Dog Skull Captain. A foil Secrets of the Dead. So got some Dark Ascension happening. Increasing ambition. Zombie apocalypse. Classic commander card. Foil predator is a foil Thraven Doomsayer. Nice foily page, a foil grim backwards. Beautiful. Oh wow. Okay. Well that should be our playset of Elvish Arch Druids complete. And then we've got Vengeful Pharaoh, M12. Look at this stack's getting out of control. Psalm Simulcrum. Sun Petal Grove, been reprinted a fair few times, but I think still holds around that five, six dollar value. Two copies of Dungrove Elder. Check this. Primeval Titan. Beautiful. Another Cemetery Reaper. Another water and surge. <laughs> okay, a bit more uncommons on here. I can't recall if any of these are carrying decent value, but there's a play set of spirit mantles on this page. That should complete our play sets of Blood Lord of Vasgoths. And I think we complete our play sets of Timely Reinforcements. Another Rite of Flourishing. Oh, oh we got some land. Rootbound Crag, another one. Ooh. Okay, we've got Lab Maniac in foil. Very nice, OG foil. And a non foil. And we've got two, not shock lands, but hinterland harbors, still a very respectful card. Nice. Got 
Ghost Quarter, this time from um, Instrad. What have I done here? No one. Blasphemous Act, that's been reprinted a bit. And Tree of Redemption. Nice little bailout card there. More relevant for standard than commander. A foil mind shrieker. Very nice. Oh wow. Okay. One of the better Garuks, Garuk Relentless. Wow, so many foils in here. A foil Divine Reckoning. Remember, this is from an era where you didn't get that many foils. Drox Gold Captain. So this will complete our play set of those. We've got one, two. Cool. And Witchbane Orb. Ooh, two of them. Sweet. Foil Secrets of the Dead, another one. Look at this, three Blood, Blood Gift Demons. Excellent. Good for your card drawer if you target yourself, of course. Two, and three. Great. Ooh, okay, some more land. We're not quite what the land I was hoping for, but it doesn't matter. We Absolutely murdered it. Oh no, the party's over. One ghost goes quarter. Two. Three. Cool. Another tree of redemption. Right. And I think that gets us to a play set of blasphemous acts. Because there's two. Three. Four. Cool. Another Warstorm Surge probably gets us to our play set. And Solemn Similar Crumb. Great. Okay. Ah, uh, damn. Well, we've got another Spirit Mantle and a Spirit Mantle to end on. Wow. I mean. <laughs> that was that was pretty insane for 50 bucks so wow might even be able to sell this for 10 or 15 anyway look at this that is a great haul plus there's some very respectable Uncommon through here. Wow. Awesome. Oh, that's that's awesome. Okay, great. Well, guys, I think that one was a big hit. Um, I'll catch you next time on the Lotus Grind. Cheers.